I V M. There's a quick survey to fill out on ivmpodcast.com slash survey. It lets us know a little bit more about who's listening to us. And you know what? We're going to do a few prizes. So, I mean, like, we'll do a random drawing of, like, maybe 10 people, and we'll send you all some swag. Remember, that's ivmpodcast.com slash survey, where you can fill out the survey. So I've spoken about green flags at work and then I've spoken about green flags in a relationship. But these aren't the only two things that rule our lives. Or if it is, then it shouldn't be. Hi, I'm Chetna, your favorite positive action coach. And this is Say No to Drama. This particular episode, the whole idea of green flags in your personal life, this came to me because so many of us are constantly complaining about our lives not being good or not being enough when we don't even know what will make it enough. So many of us have so much of abundance in our life, but we are so busy cribbing, complaining, whining, comparing. So here's the thing. If you have a job that pays you decently, not well, but decently, and by decent, I mean you pay your bills and then you have some to enjoy a good life. you are dating, maybe you're in a relationship, maybe you are married and you have a good relationship with your husband or wife, maybe you have kids, which means to say your love life is kind of moving. Yes, even if you're single but dating and you're figuring things out. If you have a bunch of friends that you hang out with, that you chill with, if you manage to go on a holiday at least once a year, if you have dreams that you are able to work towards. If you have a hobby, even if it is working out, if you have good health, and by good health, I mean minor aches and pains, but in general doing fine, these are all signs that your life is moving in the right direction. This is base level, okay? Let me take this one notch higher and give you some of the real big green flags. If you are in a job, that makes you happy 70-80% of the times. That's a big green flag. If it gives you a sense of growth, there is opportunity. You are in an organization that is supporting you or in a business that has potential right now. That's a green flag in your life, that life is good. If you are dating somebody, single, but exploring, and out of four or five people that you meet, you feel a connect with maybe one person, It works out or it doesn't work out, but you are at least meeting people that you can connect with, one in five or six people. That's a big green flag. If you are in a relationship, whether dating long term, heading towards marriage, or then married with a child, and you generally have a good relationship, your love life is in a good space, your partner makes you happy, your partner supports you, you all have plans, things are moving forward, that's a big green flag. Then in terms of health, if you are only sitting with minor aches and pains and you are somebody who has started working out, you are somebody who is taking care of your health in different ways, then give yourself a green flag. Because the fact that you are taking care of yourself in whatever small way is a green flag. If you have friends who are not all 3 a.m. friends, but you have company more or less two, three times in a week. You want to go for a movie, you have company. You want to step out for a drink, you have company. May not be a large group, maybe just one person. That is a green flag. Green flags are a lot of tiny things in your life that are actually right. And if while I'm saying all of this, you are realizing that, damn, I don't have even a single green flag, What are you doing with your life? What job are you chasing? And what is this love? What is this the one that you are chasing? Let me give you one more big green flag. Family. If you have a good relationship with your family members, you have parents who love you. You have parents who look out for you. Sure, they may be annoying at times and overly protective sometimes, but they generally love you and look out for you. You have siblings who are supportive of you. You have siblings that you can fool around with and laugh with. So what if they make fun of you? So what if they tease you? So what if they play pranks on you? 
Don't you do the same? That's a big green flag. Do you know why so many healers, coaches, therapists tell you to do a gratitude practice? So that you can see the green flags in your life. It's not just about saying thank you, but it is about really living all those things that you are saying thank you for. A lot of the things that I have mentioned, they fall in the box of privilege for many people. There's a large number of us out there who are very privileged. Don't confuse privilege for basic necessities. And when you are thankful, turn around and live that aspect that you are so thankful for. If you are somebody who has opportunity in your life, the opportunity to change jobs, the opportunity to travel, the opportunity to move to another city or a country, that's a big green flag. You at least have opportunity. And this is not to compare you with somebody who has lesser and throw a whole, oh, you should be grateful in life. So many people don't have the basic necessities. No, I'm not coming from that space. I'm coming from a space where all of us need to not just be thankful, but also acknowledge our privilege and see the green flags that exist in our lives. If you ask for help and you receive help, that's a green flag wherever it comes from. When you sit to do your gratitude practice today, make sure that you also make a promise to live all the things that you are thankful for. And if you don't have a gratitude practice and you want to start one, scroll down. Yes, all these hacks and solutions are there on the Say No to Drama podcast. All you have to do is get onto the IBM podcast app and website and scroll down. Find the episode. I think that's called Thank You. I'm not sure, okay? I've recorded over 250 episodes. How many have you tuned into? And if you would like me to help you figure out your green flags, book a session with me. You can DM me on Instagram to do that. My handle is Positivity Angel. Hey, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On Advertising is Dead, Varun talks to Naveen Murali. He is the head and VP of marketing at Pepper Fry, and together they trace the evolution of the furniture market in India. On Marathi Kirki Tunde Deshmukh's welcome Sanya Mane, host of our new Marathi podcast, Akhan Bharat. She shares how she conceptualized the podcast and the story behind presenting history in this way. On Terde Mere Rasta, Ekesho takes us to a land of unique traditions, Mathi. Find out how they use auspicious occasions to plant trees. On Pulia Bazi, Pranay and Saurabh analyze India's current need of the hour, self-reliance or self-interest. And on Smarter with Sid, Siddharth shares two important lessons we can learn from the infamous Oscars incident involving Will Smith, Chris Rock and, well, a joke and a punch. Do follow us on social media. We're IBM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. Also, don't forget to rate us on any of the platforms you're listening to us on, including the one you're listening to us on now. And also, please do check us out on YouTube. We have a number of channels. They're all available on ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube. We're also doing a small listener survey to help us understand you, the listener, better and how you like our shows, how you respond to the advertising, and so on. We'd really appreciate it if you could spare a few minutes to spell it out. It's at ivmpodcast.com slash survey. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors on the network this week, SBI Life Insurance, India Water Portal and Jupiter, a digital banking app. Thank you so much for making this possible. Are you looking for finance products and services that can enhance your personal finance experience? Are you looking for a space to talk about your financial product or service? And are you looking for a crisp talk show where the conversation is all about money? Well, your search ends here. Hi. My name is Anupam Gupta and I'm host of the Pesa Pesa podcast and I invite you for the conversation about your personal finance on each Monday on the IVM podcast app or the website or on any podcast streaming platforms. See you folks.